Testing. Testing. Might hear a feedback loop here in a bit. I'm if, assuming this is working. I'm trying to get it pulled up on my phone to check and see if it actually is working. All right, it is working. Good. It's just not showing that it is when it is. Do a couple quick shares now that I know that this is working. How is everybody? I really want to know how everyone is. If you're watching, if there's anyone watching yet, I want to hear from you. <clears throat> Before you uh, guys ask, I'm sure it'll get asked again. The stuff I'm having for dinner is lasagna. So I just saw something on uh, Twitter where one of the people I follow on YouTube just tweeted out, send memes. Yeah, they're asking for people to send memes right when I delete my folder. I think that's kind of funny because I had a memes folder.
I've got a bunch of games downloading on my uh, um, computer. <clears throat> For some reason, I wound up um, I wound up bringing uh, my computer over to um, somebody's apartment, and we wound up watching a movie together. And um, I didn't realize that when I did that, my computer would d delete all of the files for the games that I already had downloaded, so I got to re-download everything. Except for Minecraft and, um, let's see, what it, what was it? Minecraft and Magic Arena. I did not have to download either one of those. But I figured, you know, since I'm kind of downloading everything right now to get everything back, kind of figured, you know what, I may as well download everything I had, figure out what I wanted, and then download a few other games and uninstall a couple games. So, let us see how that goes. Um, on that note, though, I am considering um, taking a screenshot or a couple screenshots of um, my game live my game libraries j just to show y'all what I have and posting something like that on either Instagram or Twitter and um, seeing what games you guys want me to play and that'll include everything that's in my uh, Steam library, everything that's in my Epic Games library, and then uh, any additional games that I actually have the drivers downloaded for. So, I just got to get everything set up. Just got to get everything, you know, make sure it's all working on my computer. And I get it all set up with uh, OBS, see if the stuff will actually work with OBS.
you know, if no one joins in the next few minutes, I'm just going to... Uh, I do want to say one thing before I end the stream. Um, I just want to make sure I say it here. There are... There's one person that I'm watching on YouTube right now where they stream regularly, like pretty much daily. And recently with this person... The chat has been doing a lot of um, racist comments. And there have also been people doxing um, the person streaming. Now... I had people accuse me of that when I never showed any addresses. I showed one person's name, but that person gave me permission to show their name. And that's it. Of course, I've also had people accuse me of being racist when I'm not. And now that's happening to this other streamer. And I realize, you know, with the um, doing YouTube videos and streaming and all that stuff, two big issues are doxing. Like, people were giving out addresses, phone numbers, all that stuff. I realize that that kind of stuff comes with the territory of, like, all the accusations, all the doxing, everything like that. It comes with the territory of making videos. It shouldn't, but it does. And to anyone out there who is even considering doing something like that, just know that. I won't tolerate it. I may not address it, but I won't tolerate it. 